Hello everyone, it's Sandra and welcome to today's video. Today we're talking fashion. I wanted to share with you some of the newest items that I have included in my wardrobe. The stuff that I'm really excited to wear now um, as we lead into fall and also some old favorites that I'm still very much loving and that are still very much in heavy rotation. If you're looking for some summer to fall uh, style inspiration. This is actually my favorite time of year to get dressed. Wear some of your summer favorites with some fall favorites. They're, it's like the perfect time for weird combinations like sweaters and shorts. It's the perfect time for layering because sometimes in the morning it can be a little bit chilly. You know, you want to throw on a light jacket. Then it gets hotter in the afternoon. You want to take it off and still have some, some ventilation. You don't want to be sweating. So this is my time to shine. I'm very, very excited to share with you what I'm loving right now. Starting with tops and the top that I'm wearing right now. This is a knit top. It's a sleeveless knit. It's by Helmut Lang and I bought it on sale in store at Saks. They still have it online. They also have it at the Outnet. This highlighter yellow might seem like it's not very much a, a fall shade. Hear me out. This type of color works so well with all the the tones that we tend to wear in the fall. This color looks really good with camel and browns. I'm wearing it with this brown wool vintage pencil skirt. Um, works really, really well with navy blue. I think it looks, it's like the perfect transitional piece because it has a more fall texture. It's, it's got this like knit fabric but um, the color is a bit more unexpected. I'm usually a pretty devoted neutrals girl but I definitely found myself in the past year being a bit more adventurous and I like a little unexpected pop of color to lift lift my mood and lift an outfit a little bit. This also works really well with gray. I filmed a cutaway of me wearing this with just a pair of gray high-waisted jeans, the same gray high-waisted jeans that I've worn and I've loved for the last two years. They were by the brand Gold Sign with this big thrifted men's oversized blazer and it's just such a good such a good top i can wear it you know dressed up i can wear it dressed down i'm going to link it in the description box if you're interested the next knit top that i can't get enough of is this one shoulder top by the brand lisa yang this is actually made of cashmere and i bought this a few months ago it was on super super sale at essence and I'm not sure if it's still available. I don't think it's available on sale anymore. I think it's available full price, but there are a lot of brands making this style of top. It might not be made of cashmere, but still I think this style top is great to have. I have worn this a lot in the summertime, obviously, you know, just with shorts or a lightweight linen trouser. But now since it's a little bit thicker, it's still, you know, I can still wear it with a blazer. I love the way that this looks under a blazer, I think. It's, it's really, really chic. It just gives a little bit of a little bit of interest. I love, I just love the way it looks. This with a black blazer has been, I've worn this so much for evenings in the summertime and I'm definitely going to continue wearing it um, if I'm going out anywhere in the evening, in the fall. If I find it, I'm going to link it. If not, there are a lot of different alternatives. They might not be cashmere, but uh, Kuyana make a really beautiful one too. The Aritzia Sculpted. Uh, material which is really really great and it really holds you in it gives you nice support they also make it so you have lots of options different colors but this shape is uh, a shape that I can't get enough of right now the next top is another one that you've probably seen me wear um, I've worn this in one of my latest reels on Instagram I'm trying to do more like fashion content on on reels on Instagram so if you do care about my fashion pics Instagram is usually where I post fashion stuff most regularly. I try to keep my YouTube more beauty and then my Instagram more fashion. Obviously there's some cross-pollination, but um, yeah, I love this. This is a knit bodysuit. It's a really lightweight knit. It's a rib knit. It's by the brand Dodo Bar Or. It's still on sale. Last time I checked, they still had all sizes available. I have this in an it Italian size 42. And I really like Netta Porter I find their size guide really great. They actually offer measurements for each size and that's kind of what I went by when I chose the size for this particular top. I really, really like it. Polo necks are very popular right now and I love the fact that this kind of has this big open back. 
It has a snap closure at the crotch, um, and this is a, a great piece. Again, I can wear it during the day with a blazer. Nobody will know that there's like a sexy back situation going on, and it just looks like a nice polo, like fitted polo top. As the months get colder, I'm planning on just layering a really thin black turtleneck underneath and kind of getting a more layered look with it. And if I have a nice black hole in the back, I think that would kind of offer a little bit of uh, visual interest. They also had this bodysuit on sale, 70% off in the color black. Next up, we have a cardigan. And I had been hunting for something in this particular shade of green for a while. I wasn't really sure what it would be. And then I saw this sweater, this cardigan, and I was like, this is it. A green cardigan. I can make this work in my wardrobe. And uh, this is by the brand Cezanne. Cezanne make really great knits. I also really love their Gaspard uh, cardigan. I've had that for a few years now and I reach for it all the time in the fall and winter. But I thought it'd be nice to kind of add a little pop of color and this beautiful emerald green is, uh, is really good. I'm definitely digging the green <laughs> this year. This has definitely been the year of green. And um, I have this in a size small. It definitely has a looser fit. It's a v-neck cardigan. It has buttons. The buttons are also green. Um, it's it's a synthetic and mohair and wool blend. I love the sleeves. It's kind of got like a drop shoulder, loose balloon sleeves. And what I like about cardigans in general is that you can just wear them as a top on their own. You know, just, just buttoned up all the way. It can work as a sweater with this one because it has such a wide opening here i can pull it a little bit off the shoulder to make it a little bit more interesting i can obviously you know wear it open as a cardigan i can also wear it you know like with the back facing in the front um, to kind of get more of like a traditional sweater look so another item that is quite versatile it's very warm it's quite cozy i don't find it scratchy at all it's it's nice and soft but this is definitely one to keep for the colder days. All right, next up, let's talk trousers. I'm still very much on the high-waisted wide leg trouser train, and my train is not stopping anytime soon. Obviously, I still love my jeans, especially my straight leg jeans, my balloon jeans. Um, those are kind of like year-round favorites for me, but I've really been leaning into the wide leg, high-waisted longer trouser this year. These are by Vince. That's like a navy blue with brown stripe. This is like a wool, woolen felt material. I actually bought these last year. I've had them for over a year now. I bought them last summer. They were at Nordstrom Rack and um, I really love them. I still love them and I'm very excited to wear them. Now that the weather is getting a little bit colder since these are quite thick and warm. I also have these. Uh, these are by the brand Forte Forte. I bought them a couple of months ago. I talked about them more in my last vlog. These were again on sale. Forte Forte is an Italian brand. I found it on Farfetch. The, the regular price for the items of this brand is very, very high, but the, the craftsmanship and the material is amazing. And they did have quite a decent discount, which is why I decided to give it a try and I'm very happy that I did also featured uh, these trousers in a reel and yeah i just i love them i think that you can easily wear them to work you can wear them with just sneakers a pair of birkenstocks you can wear them with heels you can wear them with loafers and a t-shirt um, you could easily dress them up or down depending on your your destination and i'm actually very curious about workwear and what you have been wearing to work i from my personal experience and from talking to my friends the workwear wardrobe has changed so much due to the pandemic lots of us still work from home some of us work from home and like a hybrid model you go into the office maybe a couple times a week but most of the time you work from home um, some of my friends are back to work five days a week from the office, but the, 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 the rules with the wardrobe have changed a bit. One of my friends, uh, she was never able to wear jeans to work before. Now she's allowed to wear jeans. So I'm very curious what it's like for you in the industry that you work in, um, whether or not you found that the, uh, the classic wardrobe, workwear wardrobe rules have changed. From Again, from my personal experience, I still work from home most of the time, so 
I can wear whatever I want, but um, even talking to some of my friends that are back to work, um, whether on a full-time basis or just with a flexible schedule, their workwear wardrobes have changed and it's a bit more on the casual side. So I'm curious what it's like for you and the industry you work in. So let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious about this. Next, let's talk shoes. I very much have a loafer obsession that just grows more and more each year. Starting off with the oldest and you'll, we will have seen these both on, on Instagram and on my channel. I feature these in pretty much all of my closet videos, any wardrobe videos that I've done. These are the Gucci loafer mules, the Princetown ones. These are over five years old now. I bought these in the summer of 2016 and I still love them just as much as I did when I, uh, when I first bought them. They are so, so versatile. And this is the time of year where they really shine. Obviously, when it gets too cold, your feet are gonna get cold in these. You can't really wear socks with them because it will, they will just slide right off and in the summertime it's just too hot and sweaty for them so they kind of shine in this in between in between the seasons i love the fact that they're red they just give the most perfect little pop of color still love them i would still recommend them i have changed the sizing the the original ones like when i first bought them they used to run small so i had sized up a full size in these but I, i've heard that now the sizing is true to size i actually really like the way that they look worn in a couple years ago it really bothered me like they do kind of scuff easily and you know they they get creased but now i actually really love the more worn look. I think that it just adds character to the shoe and it makes me happy because it means that I've worn them and I love them. And uh, you know, some brands like Golden Goose have capitalized on shoes looking worn in and having that character. The next loafer is a very hot ticket item. It was a very hot ticket item when I bought them last year. They're still very much a hot ticket item and it's the chunky patent leather loafer from Prada. I adore these i think that they are so cool i've worn them a ton and they still look brand new like they are incredibly incredibly hardy shoes some people say that they're uncomfortable i do not find them uncomfortable at all i mean they are heavy like these are not like a lightweight shoe they definitely you know they're they're very sturdy they're very heavy they actually re they're still available in this particular style, but they also tweak them a little bit. They have a new style out this year that actually has um, an even thicker sole with like a lug. They have like a lug sole version, which I guess would be good for winter time because you won't be slipping and falling. You can probably scale a mountain with those things. I think those look cool too, but these are maybe a little bit more classic. Love the shiny patent leather. They have held up extremely, extremely well. They usually have sensitive feet that blister quite easily, but I had no issues with these. I love to wear these with dresses and skirts, or even if I'm wearing them with jeans and a more, a more feminine top, I feel like they, they toughen up the look just enough and they add a little bit of extra shine. I love that, you know, even if I'm wearing an all black outfit, if I introduce these, I kind of get that shiny texture, which can take the look up a notch. Rounding out my loafer collection with the newest pair, these are by Saint Laurent. I've been craving a lighter, like a white loafer for the last almost three years. Initially, I was going to buy the Gucci, um, the Gucci slides, uh, just like the same as my red, but in white. I just never ended up pulling the trigger and I'm glad I waited and I found these. I love the shade. They're not like a very crisp optic white. Uh, the color is actually called pearl gray. They are extremely comfortable. They feel like I've been breaking them in for years. My foot just slid right in. They're super soft inside, very, very comfortable right off the bat. True to size also. The leather is incredibly soft, both inside and outside. A bit of a, of a delicate shoe. You know, I wouldn't wear them after the rain if it's like super muddy out or anything like that, but they are extremely comfortable. I also love the branding. I like that it's just a little YSL logo on one of one of the shoes. I find it a bit more subtle. They also have them in black. They also have them in suede. These are actually more comfortable than the um, the full Gucci loafers. I think the Jordan, I think that's the name of, of the style. These are more comfortable than those. So maybe if you're looking for a luxury loafer to add to your wardrobe for this fall, 
check out these YSL penny loafers. I think that they are incredible. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about outerwear. My friend Vanessa, she is the Bombshell Suite on Instagram. Her and I are really close friends. We talk almost every single day. And she has been raving about Abercrombie and Fitch and their kind of re revival for the last year now. So I finally had the opportunity to go into a physical Abercrombie and Fitch store and see what the buzz is all about. I think it's an example of a brand that has really evolved with their customer. I didn't try their jeans. I do hear that their jeans are amazing. I just don't need jeans right now, but I did buy a pair of jeans for Michael and they look incredible on him. So would recommend checking out their jeans if you are in the market for a new pair of jeans, but yeah, really impressed. Also love the look of their like their athletic wear, their gym stuff, their gym shorts and leggings and tops look so, so good. So I bought this little thing. This is a shirt jacket and this thing, and I love both of them. So let's start with this guy first. This is a shirt jacket. It's windproof and waterproof. It's super, super soft and really, really lightweight. I thought that this would be an excellent thing to throw on. Um, just if I need to be out the door, it's kind of chilly out. I think the intended fit of this item is more of like a fitted shirt jacket, but I sized up because I kind of wanted to emulate that, um, I think either Totem or the Frankie Shop, one of those cool brands have um, a quilted oversized coat that I've seen people wear on Instagram. I kind of wanted to emulate that look and I adore the sage green color. It's so, so good. And um, yeah, this, was, this is just an excellent coat to throw on, you know, out the weekend, if I'm, you know, going to the dog park, if I'm going to the grocery store, this can kind of go on top of all my go-to casual ensembles, you know, jeans and a t-shirt, I can throw this on. Um, it's also big enough, so if I'm wearing sweatpants and a big hoodie, I can throw this on top. It's big enough to kind of encompass my, my oversized hoodies. Feels great. Love the fact that it's waterproof and windproof. I feel like this will be a really practical jacket for me. And then the other one is more of like a traditional shacket. I think the Isabelle Marant ones kind of triggered the trend a couple years back. And I just saw this. I love the colors so much. I bought my usual size in this. I bought size small. I did not size up. Um, because I wanted, you know, more more fitted look. I think this is the perfect merger. Um, it's like a more casual take on a like a classic checkered wool coat. Um, again, I wanted something that can look really great with jeans and a t-shirt, um, as well as you know leggings. More casual coat, but it still still looks a bit more, you know, still has a bit of structure love the pattern so much they also had this in, um, in a really nice green check and a navy check and then they had like an orangey red one again this is incredibly soft it's very comfortable and cozy and i love the fact that it actually has snaps which kind of makes it a bit more casual but yeah i'm really happy and really excited about my purchases so way to go abercrombie and fitch way to grow with your customer a lot of their stuff reminded me of Aritzia in terms of aesthetic. I've actually found Aritzia quality to go down in recent years. This reminded me of old Aritzia. And that's about it for me. Those are the newer items in my wardrobe that I'm really excited to wear for this season. Uh, some of the old stuff that I just can't stop wearing right now. Let me know what you're loving and let me know what you're excited to wear the most for this coming fall ahead. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am wearing hair extensions, so um, before you ask, I do not have a magical supplement that will get your hair to grow longer and thicker. Um, it's just it's just hair extensions, it's clip-ins. Um, felt, felt like getting a little bit of, a little bit extra glam today with this top and, you know, the skirt. <laughs> Thought that I would have a little glam lady moment today. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.